Wow. Hi, everyone. If you can hear me, hello. Hi. Hi. Live. Unedited, unscripted, on everything. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. I am the hidden light. That's crazy. That's crazy. I am the hidden light, man. I'm the son of man. That's crazy. That's insane. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. Holy shit. So, the world is in a state. We have a pandemic. We have an epidemic. You know, you have Bill Gates. You have Warren Buffett. You have all the billionaires focused on vaccines. You have all the nurses, all the doctors focusing on healthcare. You have all the large financial institutions, all the, the, the wealthy, the affluent. They all invest in capital and financing a cure and they're offering aid. Everyone's making contribution. Um, and I'm thinking, man, like I'm educated, I've, 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 I'm intelligent, I have knowledge, I have wisdom, I have cognizance, I'm funny. What can I do? What can I contribute? The world is in a state. There's an epidemic. There's a pandemic. What can I do? What? What can I do? What little insignificant me can do? And I'm pondering all this um, all week. Fine. So I had a so one night I had a dream. So that, by the way, my hair is seven feet long, seven and a half or eight feet. And I had this dream. Gang stalker, you don't, you all don't affect. I'm the hidden light. Yeah, you all don't affect me. Yeah, I'm the light. My hair was in one long hat. So in this dream, in this dream, I saw this big bright light. And in the dream, I said, "Wow, you the light. Wow, you the light. You must, okay? So I'm looking at the light, right?" I say, okay, so this must be God. And I remember, again, what can I do, man? What contribution? What can I bring to the world? What can I do? What can I do? There's an epidemic. There's a pandemic. The world is in a deteriorating state. What contributions can I make? How can I use my education? My, what, what? And I remember this big bright light. It just got brighter. And it's, but we, we communicate, but it was telepathically. I don't, it's hard for me to explain. I remember saying, what do I do? And I remember the light just got brighter. And it said B. It said B. And in the dream, I remember saying, what shit you tell me about B? B, you don't light. Are you even God? First to begin, God wouldn't even say that. Just B, no philosophy. What do I need to study? Philosophy, I don't know, existentialism, more linguistics, my vocabulary, read a book. Calculus, some form of mathematical equation. Do I need to discover some deep underlying mechanism that phys physics? You know, I'm ex you know I'm so expecting something like I don't know, special and general relic. Oh, what kind of deep stuff? The light just said B. So in the dream, I got annoyed. I said B, what shit you tell me about man? You the light? I said, are you even God? And then the light said, no, I'm the devil. I said, oh, devil. Makes perfect sense. Because God wouldn't say that. God will actually tell me what to go out there and do. God don't say, B. You're the devil. You say, yeah. I said, so then, why are you pretending to be the light? Why are you shining? Why are you the light? Huh? If, you, if you're the devil, you, you're the devil. Why are you pretending to be the light? Stop pretending to be the light. You're hiding in the light. You're hidden in the light. Stop pretending to be the light. I'm thinking all this time I'm speaking to God. And it's really the devil? Yeah. So then why are you pretending to be the light? You know? 
Be what? Be just what? Just turn my camera on and be? Just be? But dude, you're the devil. You're pretending to be the light. You're hiding behind the light. That's why you say be. You give me a shitty advice. You're pretending to be the light. God, stop pretending to be the light. Be the light. You're hiding behind the light. Be the light. As I'm saying, be the light. It's like my DNA encoded, like some deep part of my DNA. So encoding, just be the, just be. Be. And I'm repeating, be in the dream, be in the dream. And the light got brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Be. I'm hidden in the light. I'm hidden light. I'm hidden light. And I woke up thinking, be. 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 Holy shit. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. B. What does B mean? What does B-E mean? I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. It's my DNA. So everything I say will be right. Because I'm the hidden light. And I, I woke up thinking hidden light. Holy crap. Hidden light. I'm the hidden light. B, all my life, all my life, I've been hiding my light. As a child, I make everyone laugh. I make everyone laugh. Everyone laugh. I had family members, I would make laugh. You know, I had an uncle, you know, he was like a, he was like a Brad Pitt. Women loved him. He was like the perfect, he was the alf, he was the all-encompassing alpha male. I looked up to him. And I would do everything I can to make him laugh. And they would laugh, but then they would turn around and call me a jackass, an idiot, a fool. So I always had a kind of, I grew up with an insecurity. And the hidden light, I always had an insecurity. Because on, on one hand, I would sacrifice myself. You know, I would do all this stupid, you know, silly stuff to make them laugh. And bring joy to their heart. Simultaneously, they will ostracize me, cast, cast, um, you know, castrate my it deteriorated my self-esteem. You know, so I grew up with a very low self-esteem because I would make people laugh, but there was something about my character. I'm a character. I realize I'm a character. People never laughed with me; they laughed at me. So I'm, I'm a character. So I hid the light. I hid it. Intellectual pursuit. I hide behind education. I hide behind intellect. I hide behind knowledge. I hide behind all areas of reality that I could present a sort of perfection. I even create Mr. Pregnant. I walk along with a pot. I create a character so the world could laugh at a character. But I hid my light. My light. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. I always hid who I truly was. Because I always had a deep-seated insecurity. People always judge me. The minute a person saw me, they said I'm a character. Even my mom said it. She said, if you go to America, if you go to Hollywood, everyone's going to think you're a character. I'm a character. I'm a character. So I hid the character. Because I always feel like when people say, Man, are you real? Are you acting? I would go on. People would always say, man, that's a good script. Did you write that? I'm a character. I'm a real person. So I always feel like, man, I'm imperfect. I'm imperfect. Some aspect of my being, my essence, my characteristics is unacceptable. I'm a character. People think I'm acting. Holy crap. That means... My essence, my personality, my characteristics, the way I behave, it must be so imperfect, so flawed, so that you have to, if you believe I'm acting, it means that, man, me as a person, 
I'm not good enough. So I hide that for years. I suppress that. I suppress my light, man. Because people immediately ask me if I'm on drugs. Every time I let that light in me shine, first thing they ask me, am I on drugs? Or I have some sort of mental issues? You know, or I'm eccentric? You know, or I'm, I'm a weirdo? Or I'm a geek? I had family call me Rain Man. They call me the Black Forest Gump. They call me, oh my God. So I suppress it. I suppress my light. And I woke up and said, holy shit, I'm the hidden light. I'm hiding my light. What can I do? Be. There's an epidemic. There's a pandemic. Everyone's home. Today, the world is my stage. And I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. I'm the essence. I'm the quintessential. Hidden light, man. It's the light in us. The imperfection. It's my hidden light. I hid the light. Because it's imperfect. I'm filled with flaws. There's so many idiosyncrasies about me. You know, deficiency. Imperfections. The imperfections are the flaw within my essence. That I suppress because people always judge me. Are you on drugs? Are you on this? Do I have, oh, he's, I might, good, I might have psychosis. You know, um, what's it called? Um, um, hallucination. I'm scared. So all kind of mental. I'm autistic. I get called autistic. I get called Asperger. All different sort of mental labels. If I get excited, if I get excited, if I let my light shine, to shine, oh, you tripping. I'm on drugs. Right? If I get to, I'm eccentric. I'm a weirdo. I'm a geek. All of it, so I suppress it. I hide behind science. I hide behind intellect. I hide behind all different areas that would present a sort of perfection. And I woke up and I said, holy shit. I am the hidden light. I'm the son of man. B. Turn my camera on and B. What does B mean? And I remember when I asked, what does B mean? The light got brighter. So that light was never the, the darkness of God or the devil. It was the light God telepathically telling me exactly what I needed to hear so I could draw the conclusion on my own. I said, B. B, what does B mean? What does the light entail? The light in the dream is a metaphor. It's a metaphor. B, what? And the light got brighter. What is light? Light has two most conspicuously fundamental qualities. Bright energy. B, bright energy. Be bright energy. And today, everyone's home. And the world is my stage. And I am the hidden light. And today, I bring that light. Because I know exactly what I'm doing here. By B. By B means being. B means being. To be is I'm being. So in the moment, in the essence, I am the hidden light. And now I am being, be bright energy, in, being, being. And what is being? Being is us. It's our essence. It's our quintessential. Essence, man. Essence of a man is our, indispe it's our indispensable qualities. Essence is our intrinsic nature. Our intrinsic nature. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. B. I am the son of man. So every facet, every iota, every ounce, every fabric of my expression will be exact, precise, and relevant. And perfect. Perfect. Because I am the hidden light. B. E. Bright energy. Being. 
bright energy in essence. Being. Being is really our essence. It's really where our indispensable qualities derive or emerges. And being is really our intrinsic nature. It's the very fundamental, the crux. The crux is the essence of our, our in, indispensable, indispensable qualities, man. Indispensable qualities. Moral, ethics, integrity. Be. You think I'm on drugs? Do I? It doesn't matter. The world needs me. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. And today I'm here to be. I don't care if you think I have a mental disorder or I'm crazy or I'm weird or I'm eccentric. I'm a character. I'm a real, living, breathing character. I am an existing character. I am what a movie director writes. I am what hundreds of, of script writers, all those Mr. Pregnant videos, I have no, I have never written any material. I'm hidden light. And Mr. Pregnant was a, a, a light I present, but this is me. This is my essence. And I choose Facebook Live so you can see my imperfection, my flaws, my idiosyncrasies. Every facet of my flaws. You know, I want, I want here yeah, because I'm the hidden light. And I know by putting this video out there, it will relate to someone. I know by me being bright energy, being my essence, my essence, my intrinsic nature, my indispensable qualities. All these imperfections, will, someone will relate to it as well. I'm the hidden light. And any awakened soul, any enlightened or any aware individual will know that I'm the hidden light. Someone asked, I heard someone ask one time, well, how would you know it's the son of man if they were standing before you? How would you know what to look for? How would you know that is the son of man if he stood before you? How would you know what to look for? What to look for? That is the wrong question. If you have to look for some quality or some trait or some characteristics in me to know whether or not I am the hidden light, the son of man, that in and of itself means that I am not the hidden light. I'm not the son of man. I am fake. Well, I'm the hidden light. It's, you, if you have to look, how would you? It's, it's not about looking. Aware souls are awakened souls and enlightened souls and the chosen ones will know I'm the hidden light because it's not something you have to look for. It's a knowing. It's a knowing. It's just a knowing. You just see me and you know, you know, some, some aspect of my being. You will experience synchronicity. You know, time will freeze. Um, this video will appear in, in front of your computer in the exact and the right time. Or I may be saying, I might be giving you a story about how I discover I am the actual hidden light. But technically, I'm channeling because while I'm speaking about my story, it has a very relevant and specific application to your situation. You, you have to know I'm the hidden light. The problem is when someone say, well, how do you know that you're the hidden light? If you have to ask that question, I can prove to you with absolute certainty. Then that I'm not the hidden light to you. The problem is commercial spiritualism. Commercial spiritualism is pervasive, have pervasively attributed spirituality to some sort of financial gains. Our essence, our intrinsic nature, the indispensable qualities of, the, of our, the us, our, our, our inner being, that is invaluable. You cannot put a price on that. So commercial spiritualism is a kind of popularity spirituality. Right? And the fundamental of commercial spiritualism is really based on an inherent behavior. That's why pure, it's based on an inherent behavior. They attribute spirituality to the way a person behaves. If you say fuck, you see, they just, because they have a misconception, spirituality, man. They, I'm the hidden light. 
I'm the son of man. I'm the essence. I'm the quintessential of it all. And I'm telling you, fix your braces, man. It has nothing to do with, with an inherent behavior. This misconception, misperception, misapprehension, and misconstrue is the reason why we have so many people resembling spirituality. They resemble spirituality. They replicate spirituality. But I'm the hidden light. Spirituality is annoying. It has nothing to do with a behavior. It's annoying. Enlightened souls, awakened souls, and aware individuals will look and be and know that I'm the hidden light because it has to do with a kind of knowing. You will just know. And how will you know? Because every facet, every essence in fullness and wholeness of my being is precise, exact, and it's relevant. And it's going to relate to a pure soul, an aware soul, and an enlightened soul on their self. And it's on a subconscious level, and they will know I'm the hidden light. It has nothing to do with a behavior. One of the most pure souls we have on the world right now is Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, yes, yes, exactly. Because it has little to do with a behavior, it has more to do with our intrinsic nature. And commercial spiritualism has have this inherent attribution to spirituality how you behave. You know, I'm supposed to come down here on a veil, land with oh, heavenly music. Sit here to peace, serenity. What is consciousness? What is existence? Have those big, those drowsy eyes, you know, posture, you know, peace, serenity. So they fake it. They replicate it. They resemble spirituality. But when the real, sp because spirituality is not a discussion. It's not a course. You don't sit in a yoga class. You sit in a yoga class. After your yoga class, you talk about, I got to get my chakra balance and my pineal gland oil and my, I don't eat meat and I'm a vegetarian. And, oh my God, it's about like attracts like and we can all manifest. It's all, all about being happy. No, man. That's inherent commercial spiritualism. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. Light beings, spiritual beings. We, we exist in this space. We don't go to our yoga class, walk out the yoga class, spend 10 minutes talking about balancing our chakra, then put our yoga mat under our arm, stick our headphones in, and then walk out the yoga um, class and ignore the, whole, excuse, and ignore the homeless person um, on the corner shaking your ass. That's commercial spiritualism. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. We be. It's a life. It's an existence. It's a language. We, we, it's a language. That's all we speak about. Light beings. That's all they speak about. When you meet a light being, that's all they speak about. So, with, if, you, if you have to, what, if you're looking for something to know if I'm the hidden light, then I'm not the hidden light. Light beings will know that I'm the hidden light. It's just unknowing. And then everything I give them after that will just add. Add icing to their cake. It will just confirm their knowing with a more absolute certainty. Jeez. I'm the hidden light. And once I realize, holy shit. B. Judge me. Say I'm on drugs. Say I'm on a high. I've been getting it all my life. Say I'm crazy. Say I'm weird. Say I'm eccentric. Say it all. I don't care. But I know by me being this here and now, I could do something for someone. Yeah, I'm insecure. Yeah, I have surface steam issues. Yeah, I, I want the world. I want to bring something. I want to bring something. Not commercial spiritualism. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. I bring a knowing. If you're aware, you awaken and you're enlightened, you, you know. You know I am. And if you're searching, then I'm not. Because you're not supposed to be searching for the hidden light. You're supposed to know. You just know, man. It's an existence. And all pure light souls... Now, let's explore. Now that we have removed commercial spiritualism from the equation, and now we know with absolute certainty that 
awakened beings or enlightened beings has nothing to do with the way they behave. Look at Mike Tyson. He's as pure as they come. So you see, you cannot rep replicate light. When you are light being, right, you can replicate it or pretend or resemble it, but you cannot fool an actual light. You can't under hidden light. I know a person is the light. If I walk into a grocery store, first thing I, f I feel, it's a, you feel something. You feel something. It's an it's a intrinsic knowing. Deep within my psyche, I know they are the light. And the minute I feel that, synchronicity brings us together. You know, a number of different circumstances and events will bring us together in perfect symphony. And with light beings, first, the first fun, so you can't replicate it. Commercial spiritualism replicated by behaving a certain way. That's why I'll meet a person. They have the peace. They have the serenity. They have the eyes. They don't eat meat. They walk around. Ah, all the knowledge they have in the Bible and the Quran and the Veda text. But guess what? S something doesn't feel right. They replicate it. They will pretend to be right. Because we live in this space. This is the only language aware, awakened and enlightened souls do. That's all we speak about. Consciousness, existence, human experience, mind, matter, substance, attributes, metaphysics, existentialism, epistemology, ontology, metaphysics, the astral plane, lucid dreams, power hypnagogia, extrasensory perception, you know. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light, man. Hidden light. And when I meet light beings, the first sign, it's an energy. It's an energy I pick up on. It has different level. No communication, just an energy. And then synchronicity brings us light beings together. And when we come together, you see, commercial spiritualism, spiritualists don't have this knowledge because they resemble, they pretend, they replicate spirituality. They can't have this experience because it's something deeper. And because I'm the hidden light and the son of man, other light beings, it's a knowing, an energy. And once we pick up that energy, a number of different disparate circumstances and events will bring us together. Now that two light beings have encountered each other, what happens? I'm the hidden light. Only aware, enlightened and awakened souls will understand what I am about to say because it's going to be precise, exact, and relevant and it's going to um, um, resonate deep within your subconscious and the hidden light and you know it because if I wasn't it would not be precise, exact, exact, and relevant so when you see, I see another light being I pick something up, energy and then circum synchronicity brings us together and as soon as we come together, it's never superficial, it's never mundane. No small talk. When two light beings come together, they go straight down the rabbit hole together. And what happened is a number of different highly, highly improbable circumstances. It's just synchronicity. Complete, perfect synchronicity. And another fascinating phenomenon that occurs, it only happened with light beings time ceases to exist and once we connect in that moment we can spend spend 10 hours together it always feels like five minutes and we feed each other we give each other the lessons that we are supposed to to transfer to aid each other because we are immaterial souls we exist immaterially we incarnate and there's lessons we have to learn as light beings to evolve and every time two light beings encounter or they collide in space and time, right, one is to aid or maybe one is to teach and one is to learn. But the one that's teaching is also learning and the light being that's also learning is also teaching. So you have two light beings, they're teachers and they're students and they're not teachers and they're not students and they're all of them and all of it and they're none of it. It's non-dualistic. It's non-dualistic. 
So one light being may be more advanced than, let's say, an aware soul who is coming, in, coming to, coming, stepping into an enlightenment. So one might be teaching, but they're also learning how to teach. They learn it. It's an equal. It's an equilibrium. Right? And when these two light beings separate themselves, yeah, it rejuvenates their soul. Right? It ignites the fire in our soul. It brings our spirit alive. And we are fueled with so much energy. We fuel for months. The experience is, again, it's magical. It's magical when two light beings come together. Right, we step into a lucid state. Our brain transition from alpha, alpha, to 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 to, to, to from 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 beta to alpha. We feel like we're in a dream, because what light beings is experiencing on a con on a subconscious level is a metaphysical phenomenon, mind and matter, substance, on, and its attributes. We're watching our manifestation unfold in real time, exact, precise, and relevant. This is right. So. One of, the, one of the knowing, not signs, knowing when light beings know that's another light being. And then the synchronicity follow. And then the exactness follow. And then the lessons follow. Right? And then it feels like we're in a movie. Hold on, let me fix my lip. It feels, I'm thirsty. It feels like we're in a movie. It feels like we're in a movie. Right? Because it's bright energy. It feels like we're in a movie. They wake you up. Awake, that's why I say awakening, awareness, and enlightenment. They are mutually exclusive. Awakening, enlightenment, and awareness are not the same. Right? They, they all is basically a transitional stage where the name change. Basically, and this again, only aware souls, only enlightened souls, only awakened souls will be able to understand what I'm about to say. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. This is exact, precise, and relevant to the chosen ones. Awareness is basically where a light being is asleep. Don't worry. Commercial spiritualists don't have this. I'm the hidden light. This knowledge is not, it does not exist in books. right? And people who replicate or pretend to be um, light they can't you can't this is dna and this dna knowledge is transferred to other pure souls awareness occurs when a light being is asleep and he needs to be wake waking up so they run into because what happened was a lot of light beings they are asleep too you know, although they predispose to a sort of awareness, they, 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 they sleep too. So when a, a light being is, is asleep, right, and it meets a pure, a, a, a light soul or a pure soul, right, it gravitates towards it, but in a conscious, superficial level. So that light being who is asleep may gravitate to a light, to a, a light being, it might be, hey man, can I buy, buy a cigarette from you, bomb, bomb a cigarette from you? But on a deep, but it's really his deep subconscious. It's his essence that gravitated him towards his eternal, immaterial soul family. And then what happened was when this light being is asleep and they gravitate to this, 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 this enlightened souls, that asleep light being experienced a, 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 a phenomena right it's called an altered reality they step into an, a lucid dream this is what light beings do right and their life feel like a dream and they experience something very funny so there's a kind of um so a kind of awareness occur they begin to realize wait a minute everything seems the same three-dimensional reality but now i encounter this person i stepped into a space what is this space what am i experiencing and light beings, enlightened souls, awakened souls, and aware souls, we are in, you are in this space right now. So this is, again, how do you know I'm the hidden light? How do you know I'm the son of man? Because you're supposed to experience that same kind of transcendental magic right now. You know, like, you know, you have to be in this also state. If you're not in that also state, um, altered, blah, 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 blah. put your thoughts together, please. Altered space with me, then I'm not the one. But I am. 
I am. So then the, the light beings who is, who is asleep, they, 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 they become aware of something. What's going on? It's like they stepped into an altered reality. And that altered reality that that soul, that, that, that light being who is asleep, stepped into with that awakened light being, it feels like a movie. It feels lucid. You know, it feels lucid. So then the light being that is asleep begins to ask questions. And then they begin to experience, run into more and more and more and more light beings. And they keep having the same kind of extraordinary, magical, synchronistic moments in these states. You know, it feels like you're in a dream, right? And it's all synchronistic. You know, reality one seems chaotic, you know, and it's in discordance. And, you know, and, 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 and causal. You step into, you run into a light being and you feel like you stepped into a movie filled with synchronicity, perfection, and everything seems right. Magic. And then, so uh, you, you become a little aware. You're aware of something. You're not certain what you are aware of. So you start, heading, start searching. And remember, we don't have control over these synchronistic events. It happens on its own accord. And it's always exact, precise, and relevant. Then you run into the next person, next person. And as that light being who is asleep encounter more and more light beings, they aid them. And then they, and then, and they become more and more and more and more and more and more and more aware. And at some given point... They're aware, right? They begin to get awakened. What they begin to become awakened to is, wait a minute, this, if science says coincidence, why it's, it's consistent? Why it's consistent? You know, think, you realize the synchronicities are consistent. Consistent. Why, if, it, if, 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 if it's coincidences, it should only occur once. I'm thirsty. Why is it reoccurring? Why does all synchronicity occur? Why are they if 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 it's a coincidence, it should only occur once. But if you look at but if you look at ten coincidences across the board, I'm the hidden light, I'm the son of man. I have the answer, my DNA blueprint. If you have if we have ten synchronicities across the board, or ten coincidences, what do they all share in common? Huh? They all share one single common denominator, right? Mind and matter. Coincidences. If something reoccurs, if it reoccurs, right? If it reoccurs, if something reoccurs, right? If it reoccurs, it, right? It has a pattern because it keeps reoccurring. If something reoccurs in reality, it has a pattern. If it has a pattern, right, if it has a pattern, then it means it's governed by a law. And if there is a law, it can be repli replicated. Any phenomena in physical reality that reoccurs, if it keeps reoccurring, it means it has a pattern. This pattern is governed by a law that's, that keeps causing it to reoccur. And this can be replicated. But the, it's not coincidence. It's right. It's synchronicity. Yeah. Mind and matter, metaphysical phenomena. So, uh, and in light, a light being who is asleep, they, they, their awareness begin to increase, and then they slowly begin to awaken. So, remember I said that awareness, awakening, and enlightenment. There's a trichotomy; they're mutually exclusive, right? Right, but they're kind of equilateral, right? They're the same, but they occur in different stages. So a multiple awareness leads the light being and they start awake, awake, awakening. Awakening occurs. They start awakening up. Awakening. This is transcendental knowledge. This is knowledge only aware, enlightened and awakened soul will resonate with. They know I'm the hidden light. They know I'm the son of man. Because I'm the only human, I'm the only being that possesses this kind of knowledge. It's a knowledge that we all experience. We are, we, are, we, are, we are eternal, spiritual, chosen soulmates. So, the light being who is asleep begins to awaken. Awareness of it. They begin to awaken. They begin to realize that, wait a minute, this physical reality, my perception of reality is wrong. They begin to awaken to something much more deeper. Metaphysical phenomenon. You know, you know reality is it's a solid illusion. It's a convincing projection. It's malleable. It's malleable. It's susceptible to change. You know, 
is susceptible to change. And we begin to see a consistency in all these so-called coincidences is really a byproduct of metaphysical phenomena, mind and matter substance and its attribute, materializing. So those are all those a few all those are synchronistic coincidences experienced with light beings, we slowly begin to awaken. And we awaken to something. We become aware of something that we were completely oblivious to. That reality is not what we perceive it to be. And this leads us to study and investigation. So now we are aware, right? And now we are awakened. We wake up, wake us up. Light being begins to wake up, wake up. And as we awaken, we awaken with that awareness now, we begin to focus on it. And as we focus on it now, we begin to grow. We begin to step into the moment. We begin to surrender to the moment. And every light, light being that meets another light being, it's not, you know, it's not about you or them. It's really about, a, it's a chain link. And each one is a link. Each light being is a link. Every time two light beings meet, they offer a clue. They give us some information that takes us one step closer. And enlightenment, enlightenment, all enlightenment really means, and trust me, I'm the hidden light, I'm the son of man, no dictionary, no man-made knowledge, no religious or spiritual books, no commercial spiritualism. And enlightenment is really when that awakened soul eventually at some point inevitably step in to their essence. Right? Where the energy, right? Where the, 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 the soul, that's their soul, you know, that spark, it ignites. That ignites a fire in the soul and your spirit becomes alive. Because now enlightenment is really energy lightened. No guru. You will meet guru with tons of knowledge. Spirituality has nothing to do with what you know. If I meet a powerful guru that the world label powerful and I step into his, his existence and I step into his presence, I know if he is or is not. It has little to do with what he says. It's annoying. I've met a lot of knowledgeable, spiritually knowledgeable people who I didn't feel it was. They have the knowledge, but the experience is normal. And then you'll meet a completely ignorant person who will take you down the most profound magic hole ever and they don't have a knowledge because it's a it's a being it's who it's our essence it's all we light it's light bright energy so awareness leads to awakening awakening leads to enlightenment energy lightened energy lightened energy lightened energy lightened what is energy lightened what is enlightenment what is being what is awareness, awakening, and lightning? What does light beings have? What is this about light beings? What is this about light beings? Light beings is really tapping into our DNA authentic authenticity. You know, it is the tapping into the imperfections. You know, what they perceive as imperfect authenticity. You know, and in the essence, our essence, the, our essence of being, our intrinsic nature, that authentic light aspect of our essence of our being right is a sort of imperfection right that's perfect right perfection is not perfection perfection is not perfection perfection is just a word perfection is just a linguistic concept a man-made model that they attribute to what is this what is determined as 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 uh, lacking flaws no perfection is not perfection and if let's say hypothetically perfection is perfection it is imperfection that's the higher perfection imperfection is the absence of perfection and light beings are able to tap in to this sp space their, authentic, your, their, their, their essence, their authenticity by removing, it's not what we do. Listen again. Again, only a way awake, no enlightened souls will understand. It's not, I'm the hidden light. It's not what we do. It's what we do not do. 
So our light really derives from not our proactions, but our inactions, our inability to do. So it is the removal of perfection. Remove is the absence of perfection. I'm not trying to be. I will just be. Absence of perfection. And in the absence of perfection, authenticity can, 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 can roam. Can roam freely, infinitely, indefinitely, without any constraints, any labels, or any... any um, and when that begins to roam, it's really our spirit becoming alive and existing in complete freeness. And when that spirit, spirit begins to roam, the, the, the essence of our authenticity is so imperfect. It is imperfect. But in that imperfection, as light beings, that imperfection is really the highest, most ordained form of perfection. I am perfect. It's the beauty. It's the essence. It's, our, it's, the, it's the flaws. Idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncratic. Again, man-made linguistic models, you know. Idiosyncratic or idiosyncrasies idiosyncrasies is really our imperfection that pervades during our when our authenticity shines in our our spiritual being that idiosyncrasies mean our, our idiocy what we perceive as idiotic idiosyncratic idiosyncrasies is the most idiot idiotic aspect clumsy aspect of ourself synchrony idiosyncrasies sink sink it's really our imperfection that sink imperfection and as light being our spiritual essence or our quintessential exuberates that and people who are who are asleep asleep gravitate on a, on a on a on a subconscious level and again this is for spiritually advanced being you will notice that when these asleep individuals come to us as light beings, there's two conversations. There's a conscious and a subconscious. On a conscious level, it's always superficial. Hey, can I borrow a pen? Hey, do you know how to get to Mulholland Drive? Hey, do you have, can I buy a cigarette from you? And as the, com the communication begins to, to, to co continue, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And then the, the on a subconscious level now, right, right, synchronicity begins to unfold. It becomes more divine, more ordained, and the perfection just became, becomes more and more transcendental. Transcendental. You wipe my lip. Yeah. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. All right. Everything I've just said was extremely basic. Now let's get into advanced stuff. Advanced stuff. This is, no, this requires advanced being. This knowledge or information I'm presenting here requires beings, light beings of the most advanced level. You know. This is ad ad for advanced beings. What does activate? What does activated mean? The world is in a state. We have an epidemic. We have a pandemic. Um, what is DNA activation? I'm the hidden light, son of man. I'm here to activate everyone. DNA activation basically is this. It's a piece of information. It's a piece of knowledge that aware souls, enlightened souls, and awakened souls need. And only the, the hidden light has that ability. What is that power? What is it? This is advanced. This is for advanced light beings. All light, all light beings are biologically predisposed to extra, extra sensory perception and psychic ability. Um, 
that entails precognition, premonition, clairvoyance, retrocognition, um, um, telepathy, telekinesis, psychokinesis, uh, clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance. Um, 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 you have um, psychometry. Let me explain. Precognition is foreknowledge. Premonition is forewarning. Um, um, clairvoyance is a psychic ability. Retrocognition is knowledge of our uh, incarnated pastime. Right. Tele telepathy is the ability to read minds. Um, telekinesis or, uh, or, 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 or psychokinesis is the ability to move objects, which all light beings are biologically predisposed to proceeding back to our, an uh, our antiquity indefinitely. It's our immaterial essence. Um, but light beings don't move objects in the linear, the three-dimensional world, man-made. Demons, they perceive... Um, um, they perceive telepathy as linear, physically move an object. No, it's non-linear, it's unorthodox. You know, you move stuff, but in a different kind of way. Precognition, premonition, clairvoyance, retrocognition, right? Then we have um, 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 clairaudience. Clairaudience is perceiving the inaudible. You know, lucid dream, the voices, the interaction, the communication, the sound we hear, right? Clairaudience is perceiving the, the inaudible, right? Clairsentience is empathic ability. All light beings are biologically predisposed to empathy, sympathy, apathy, compassion. It's ingrained in the um, clear audience, um, clear sentience, empathic ability. Clear, uh, uh, and then you have clear cognizance. I apologize. Clear cognizance. Clear, clear cognizance is basically light beings who are biologically predisposed. It's annoying. It's annoying. You know, you will notice that people who do you wrong, they end up in car accident or this is not, you know, it's, you, you are aware it's no coincidence, right? You're light beings. Right, and you're that powerful, you can kill them. And what causes that is they do something to you, right? And it hurts you because you extended a sort of acknowledgement or gratitude to that person, a homage out of the pure sincerity of your heart. And when they hurt you, the pain you feel, the pain a light being feels, that energy in and of itself, just the feeling is so powerful. It has devastating, repercussive, karmic um, implications for that person. It's enough to break down their reality. So if you as a light being, on top of that, have any sort of, sort of contention or resentment for what, which light beings generally don't, you couldn't kill them. Right. Right. And so that's kind of like, and then clear cognizance is just annoying. You know, you know somebody's coming to do something to you. Reality will, will, will we, 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 uh, everyone's in, our, in, in the light beings reality. Reality um, reconfigures to suit you. And then we have, um, we have, um, we have um, psychometry, the ability to perceive facts, events, and location through the, uh, the inanimate or intangible, any object. You could know stuff. And then we have um, clear aliens, also known as clear sentience or clear. Um, Clear, clear. We, then we have, what am I saying? We have clear essence, also known as clo clear olfaction, which is the ability to, to, to smell uh, in a lucid dream. Lucid dream is a semi-conscious state. Right? And then we have clear gustons, the ability to taste. Right? Um, light beings are biologically predisposed to all, every facet of the, the extrasensory perception spectrum. Acti it's activated by knowing. There's no activation. The activation is a metaphor. I'm, I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. There's nothing to activate. The activation is just a kind of knowing. Just going back and realize that you do have a, a, an effect in reality. All these light beings who are making videos claiming to be targeted individuals. Again, it's aware, awakened and enlightened souls who are... They're not fully awakened. They're drawing conclusions based on limited information. A lot of these individuals that you claim to be a gang stalking are really unconscious instruments in a much grander orchestra. These individuals are innocently acting in accordance with their own free will. But because of their decision, their crookedness have allowed their psyche. It clouds their psyche. Right? And it allows that dark forces to impenetrate their psyche. These dark forces really have two, two, peni uh, imp they, they, um, not impenetrate, penetrate. Two of the people who are by susceptible to these influence of mental diseases, mental illnesses, individuals who suffer from um, um, psychopathological 
or um, pathological or, or pathophysiological illnesses and diseases or disorders and in the substance abuse. Right? It weakens the, 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 the ethereal, three-dimensional, um, um, translucent, something like um, translucent to the ones who can see, right? And um, transparent to the ones who can see. It's an immaterial energy force frequency that protects us from intergal intergalactic, interdi interdimensional, just unseen foreign substance that exists outside the three-dimensional plane, right? So, so you're not really being gang stuck, right? You're being, they're, they're, they're being unconscious instrument. That's why when an awake, aware or an enlightened, enlightened soul enter a grocery store, everyone walk across you or block you, right? It's not the individual. It's what, it's what's in them. So you cannot hold them accountable. Activating our ability is the power, is the ability to know, to know. So what we are experiencing in the world today, also on a metaphysical and a ph phenomenological perspective, is really the byproduct or the repercussion of a collective manifestation. I've seen pure souls on 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 social media, right, with huge contention for gang stalking. Call them gang stalking, the PCs, and um, and what they call, what's the other term? What's the term? What's the term? What's the term again? Um, 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 organic portals. It's not the portals. It's not the organic. Again, conclusion drawn from limited information. Become hidden light. Become hidden light. We are hidden light. We need to become aware. This activation is unknowing that what we are experiencing here right now, epidemically and pandemically, is a byproduct or repercussion of collective manifestation which can be reversed. This can be reversed today. I saw a very powerful being one time said on, so on social media, he want all organic portals dead. He want them destroyed. And I saw it unfold. DNA activation is unknowing. It's a kind of information that aware, enlightened, and an awakened soul need. And, it's, and only the hidden lights can present that. Only the hidden light. The son of man could present that information. It's unknowing. Knowing that you are unconsciously aware. So even a soul, a light being, there are a lot of light beings, right? They still, to some degree, possess a level of unconsciousness. Because conclusion, spiritual and transcendental conclusion are drawn based on limited information. Yeah? These individuals are unconscious instruments in a much grander orchestra. They are acting in accordance with their own free will. So when you as a target individual approach a person and say, Are you gang stalking me? They are innocent. There's something far deeper and more profound to understand. And that is the immaterial force or the immaterial energy that permeates their psyche. Right? And hidden light is really the ability to step into that light. Activation occurs instantaneously when we step into that light. When we be, be, be in, become, become, become. Because we can save the world. Enlightened beings can save the world. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. And I'm here to tell light being that we can save the world. All we need to do is desire. Desire. Our ability, our ability transcends that of any occult, obscure, esoteric, arcane, ancient, or any knowledge preceding eons of time or back to antiquity. Far ex exceeds that of scientific materialism or idealism. So Illuminati, all of these occults, all these large secret um, um, organizations, they manipulate energy. They manipulate energy. They use sacred geometry. Light beings, light beings, yeah. We are the geometry. Our DNA, our DNA, our blueprint, our essence, our intrinsic nature is the very fabric of this physical plane. And awareness, awakening, and enlightenment unfolds this. Awareness, awakening, and enlightenment. Is really about we understanding that reality is not what we perceive it to be. And transcendental knowledge is a different kind of knowledge. It's higher than spiritual knowledge. It's about our, our essence, our immaterial essence, our incarnated essence. 
Hence the reason you might encounter a pure soul or a light being that's bisexual, transsexual. Or they might be um, bina binary or non-binary. Or they might be a queer. They might be queer, binary, non-binary. Um, non a light being may feel like a girl today or she might feel like a boy tomorrow. Then you have the adrenus. I'm, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. Where a being looks like both male and female. They lost. They lost. They lost. They lost. You have the political aspect of it where they have to deal with the labels and the stereotype and oh you're biologically predisposed to a man, you could never be a woman. Then you have the religious aspect of it, the spirituality of it, you know, resenting them. They thought so they lost. But it's very simple. Yeah. I'm the hidden light. I'm a light being. When you meet a pure light being who have these non binary or binary or queer or you know, trans, uh, sexual transvestite, uh, you know, confusion. Because they have incarnated so many times. They were different sexes. And another aspect with commercial spiritualism, we come back with our memory. Yes, we have the memory. I apologize. We have the memory. We have not the linear memory. It's non-linear. It's unorthodox. We have access to our memories of who we were in our past time. And the memory does not exist in our memory in our mind. The memory exists in the fabric of our existence. We discover the memory in our inclinations. Why do I like both male and female? It's really memories we are accessing, light beings are really tapping into physiologically, psychologically, and emotionally. You know, we were once male. We were once, 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 once female. And now I'm male again. So we're transcendent. Again, this is advanced. So transcendental knowledge allows us to tap into... Who am I? What am I? What was I before? What was I before and before I'm born? What will I be again? You know, so sometimes a person may be attracted to the different uh, sex or the same sex because they were the opposite, opposite sex. And again, with light beings or enlightened souls or awakened souls, we may encounter a night, a, a, another light being and there's a sense of familiarity. That sense of familiarity is established through a number of different deja vu synchronistic exchange and that familiarity is really from a transcendental perspective that these two energy again it's not about the way we look it's about um we our our basically we are all right right quantitatively the same let's discuss the energy aspect you know light beings the light in, in light beings oh light beings chosen souls right the 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 the, the, the light in all of us right we are all quantitatively the same, but qualitatively different. Some of us may have a, 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 our, our light may be a little more potent. So it's not about these two physical beings and light beings. It's really about the, the, the quality of the energy in them that has showed up, that is, is another, is, has articulate yourself, man. Come on, you want to lose credibility now? Imperfection. It's really two energy forming a spiritual tran transcendental um, re they reunite. There's a re unity. So we may look this different, we may act different in a different time, but our energy has encountered each other before. This is why transcendental knowledge is so important, imperative, allows us to access this space. So we look, we look. You know, so I may see a guy and I can't stop hanging out with a guy because quite possibly at some given point in the past, you know, we had some exchange. I look different. They look different. It's not about the individuality. It's not about male or female. Or it's about or gender or non-gender. It's about a essence. It's about a potency. That's why some individuals, you know, may possess an unusual intelligence. Their intellect, their intellectual capacity right spanned far and wide where where most struggle with they do effortlessly my lips is dry i need water okay. so when these two beings encounter each other there's deja vu a sense of familiarity because these two energy have encountered each other before it's an energy right because we immaterial we ex exist eternally eternally 
It's a perpetual reflected pastime of the eternal spiritual plane. So we will come back. We will come back and continually, 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 right? Right, we may ascend or descend. It's a choice we have. So when these two souls meet and we have confusion, it's really we tapping into as light beings what we were in the past. You know, and if you look at all light beings across the board, invariably, all light beings are polymathematicians. They might be an artist, but they're a photographer, but they're a painter, but they're a writer, they're a musician. And confusion comes in on the material plane for three-dimensional individuals who doesn't have this light. How could you do this all? Because we're polymathematicians. But light beings are not really polymathematicians. Because in one life they were a painter, a photographer, a this and a that. So you see... Why these light beings are light beings is because they've developed, developed eternally, right? So many incarnations, right? They, they, their soul eventually evolve and develop to the point where when they're born into another plane or they, they, they germinate or incarnate into another life, right? They're already biologically predisposed. They're spiritually immune. They're predisposed to that sort of awareness already because they are advanced. A light pure souls attracted to both sexes were already here twice. Again, transcendental knowledge. And by tapping into this now, what was I as a guy? What was I as a woman? Okay, I'm here now. What now? What am I supposed to do? And then other light beings will manifest into our lives. And they were probably someone that were in our past life. And this awareness, this enlightenment now allows us to tap into the knowledge of the soul. And the incarnated soul. Then we begin to tap into who we were, how many infinite amount of times. It's not about I was Buddhist here or this here. It's about understanding how much, where we are, who we are, what we are, where we are going on the eternal, immaterial, uh, everlasting plane. To ascend. This physical plane is one, right? And for advanced, enlightened beings, they are quite aware that the astral plane is the much higher, the much higher, more realistic plane. And the physical plane is really a shadow inversion that is flipped downwards from a vertical descension. So everything that's happening here has already occurred on the astral plane. This is a deeper knowledge. So all light beings... DNA activation is this knowing, knowing, knowing that all light beings, we can all flip this. This can flip over tonight. I saw a light being on YouTube one time. Oh my God. Organic portals and I'm really tired. And I want them all dead. It's such pure sincerity. And he's powerful. I felt his energy radiate my soul. And he's unaware that he is a major, major, major contribution to a lot of different catastrophe. DNA activation is an awareness that we can reverse the effect. It's not about organic, organic portals. Right? It's not about gang stalking. That's what they want. As we activate that, as that DNA becomes active, our power activate, you will begin to realize that, wait a minute, I'm going to walk into this grocery store. And everyone is going to smile. You understand enlightened beings? Right. Our power is just as effective in negation. It's, it, it, it works in the absence of. Our power, our bright energy, our light is not bias. It just is what we desire. Yeah, you gangstalk. Of course. Am I? No. But if I believe I am, I am. You see? We are the fabric. We are the infrastructure. We are the matrix. We are the, the intrinsic morphogenic essence of this three-dimensional physical plane that is reconfigured, not based. We don't need energy like the Illuminati. We don't need to manipulate energy. Our desires become. We can collectively reverse this. All light beings, we all know, the very advanced light beings know that our ability works through a number of different coincidental events. So we can have an effect on this epidemic. We can have an effect on this pandemic. Aware souls, enlightened souls, awakened souls, we can have an effect, instantaneous effect, reverse effect, simply by desiring it to change. 
This is what activation entails. It's a knowing. I'm the hidden light. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. And I'm expressing this, that all light beings can change this. As long as we begin to desire a number of reality will begin to reconfigure itself to facilitate that collective, energetic, very condensed, potent desire that will permeate on a global scale. Instantaneously, they will begin to find cures. They will begin a chain, a profound chain of coincidental events will begin to reverse the effect. And I'm the hidden light, the son of man. And I am here to tell these enlightened beings that DNA act, that activation, that ability, that power we have is really a kind of knowing, knowing, knowing. There's nothing to activate, man. It's a knowing. There's nothing to activate. We are light. We are already activated. It's more about shifting our awareness. On the three-dimensional plane, they talk about um, um, left, right, front, back, left, right, first dimension, front, back. Front, back, second dimension, up, down, two dimension, four dimension, spatial and time, special and general relativity. Einstein was wrong. The four dimension, the four dimension is not time and space and time. time if we begin, time don't exist outside of the physical plane, so mental construct. The fourth dimension is in, out, inversion. Inversion. Power hypnagogia, hypnagogic, and hypnopompic rep- um, hallucination and lucid dream, semi conscious state, the astral plane. Inversion, in, out. Light beings go in, we are in the, in the higher plane. We know this. So, activation, my ass. Activ- we are light. B. That's the DNA activation. B. Bright energy. And if all lightened souls truly desire to reverse this effect, it will occur instantaneously. This is what activation is. We can reverse the effect. It's not organic portals. It's not light beings. Right? It's not, I don't say not light beings. Not organic portals. Not gang stalking. It's not gang stalking. It's not gang stalking. DNA activation is really an aware, awake, non enlightened soul coming to an awareness and knowing that it is gang stalking, but it's not. Do you understand? Your light energy, you be. As long as you be, it becomes, you be in. So a lot of these light targeting chosen individuals, they just be. They bright energy, but you need to be in. Become that bright energy and understand that the gang stalking is really you being. You have to be gang stalk because we are that powerful. That is what you need to activate and knowing and shifting that perspective, shifting that perception, understanding what's going on. You don't believe me you are gang stalked? So you're no longer gangster. That's it. That is activation. That's it. In the hidden light. Son of man. Here to give my light beings what they need. Yeah, I'm a byproduct. I'm, a, I, I'm like, collect, it takes collective manifesta- manifestation to germinate my existence into fruition. I'm the hidden light. And a lot of light beings, awakened souls, have a huge misconception. They're not gang stalked. It's the energy in them that wants you to perceive that. And as long as you perceive that they're, you're being gang stalked, they won. Because now you are the, you, you, now you, you shift. How could you be gang stalked? How could you be gang stalked? Light beings, how could a light being be um, gang stalked? You're the light. That gang stalker is of you. That human is of you. That organic portal is of you. That is the activation you need to become aware of. To understand how extraordinarily powerful we are as light beings. That even the negation of what we disdain or resent germinate equally as what we desire. That is DNA activation. That is the activation. DNA activation is unknowing. Please, please light beings. Every time a light being make a video and say they are being targeted, you are being targeted but from a different perspective. When a person go out in a mass shooting and they, st- and they find out that they are a targeted individual, right? They begin to build 
They begin to build a report on you. They want to build something on, on you. And once they build enough evidence to support that, will it have been proven across the board that statistically, unanimously across the board, that all mass shooting are the byproduct of a result of individuals who believe that they were targeted individuals. They immediately put you into a mental institution. Apophrenia, pareidolia, hallucination, illusion, psychosis, and the Alice in Wonderland, Morpheus, two black cats, schizophrenia. So all of you target individuals are really setting yourself up. And the reason for this is you limit semi-awakening. Right? They're allowing it. And then they start marking you all. You're not a targeted individual. I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. I'm like a transcendental ambassador. Dualistic citizenship. I can exist in both places. You're not, you're not a gangster, man. You're the light. And as you will understand that DNA activation is a kind of knowing. That wait a minute. All this gang stalking I'm experiencing is really me. Of course. You don't light. You don't light. You don't light. You don't light. Aware, awakened, enlightened souls. DNA activation of our ability is to understand that we are not using our power. Our power is using us. Our power is using us. It's about shifting and realize, holy crap, my power is using me. Light beings are not aware of the exponential implications of their power. It is infinite. One powerful being can have a major implication on, on the physical plane. Knowing, knowing, knowledge, deeper spiritual and transcendental knowledge, it condenses the potency, the quality, the potency of our light. And that condensed and potent light in our being has extraordinary, remarkable, remarkable, remarkable implications but has both negative and positive connotation this is dna activation it's a knowing that yeah you are being gang stalked of course it's subjective do you realize how powerful who could gang stalk me once you step into that place and realize how our power is using us then we begin to use our power and flip the script and watch it unfold with the light Let's change the world. Let's affect the world. Let's affect the world. Just desire. Let's all just desire to see this reversed. I know half of you all targeted individuals want them dead because, you know, they're organic portals. I understand that's the term. Yeah, but still, do you all realize that on a metaphysical and a phenomenal, phenomenological level that that light power that you, you light beings possess has collectively condensed into a, in a, sort, a sort of potent ball a spiral out there and it manifested we can reverse this we can reverse this all these targeted individuals come together reverse this they're demons but reverse it let's fix this that's it let me show you all my hair That's it. Until next time, I'm the hidden light, son of man. No gang stalking. Because no one changes. All. No gang stalking. How could I not be gang stalking? I'm the light. How could information, and it's ironic because every time targeted individuals make videos, they gang stalked, they harass, they interrupted, right? It's not that they are gang stalked. 
It is their power using them. See, I'm the hidden light. I'm the son of man. I'm using my power. This is a crowded area. I'm in a park. No one comes to me. Because I have a knowing. The activation is knowing something. Wait a minute. Gang's talking. Get away from me. Get away from me. I like that girl. She'll come. I don't like that man. He'll go. I want to park there. They'll leave. Reality will reconfigure itself in such a way. Circumstances, events, and scenarios, situations will unfold. That will make them leave. I don't want to hear that guy music. Why? He can't. Don't interrupt my video. Done. Our power is using the light beings. Use. Don't let the power use us. We must use the power. And DNA activation is understanding. It's just a knowing where we step in. And, and this is what they want you to believe, you gangs. They want you targeted. You're the light. The light. You're the source. You're the source. You bind into it. You let in your ability use you. Shift it. Say, I'm the light. I'm not gangs, don't. Have them worship you. You see people all of a sudden go down on their knees and they're praying, you know, in their own world. But you realize it's your manifestation. Light beings, our power is using us. Let us use that power. Step into it. Change the world. And all you light beings have to do is desire. Just desire. Just freaking desire to reverse the effect. That's it. We are the light. We are the love of the world. We can have an impact. Our desire to reverse this effect can have major implications. That energy will cause a number of different synchronistic events to unfold. And this will begin to reverse. And I know, I believe, that this really a byproduct. Because all targeted individuals, light beings begin to come together. They already call you all delusional. Delusional? Of course you all are delusional. You believe you're a target. You're light beings. Take control. Take charge. Take charge, light beings. I'm done. And my lips are dry. And that's it. I'm the hidden light. And as, in, as intelligent as I am, I'm just as stupid. I'm just as everything. It's a pleasure to meet you all. And I look forward to our next interaction.